Hello, this is Michael Jones with MJV. Today I'll be doing a review on this Fideco USB to hard drive adapter. So I used to use this device, but it only works with the 2.5 inch hard drives. And um, it just really struggles because it's a very short cable and you know, you sometimes want to connect two hard drives or an IDE hard drive. So that's why we have this device right here. Uh, now right here is the USB 3.0 cable that connects to your computer. Uh, here's the other end, it's USB-A as you can see. Uh, here is the power uh, for it. And over here, uh, the main specs that you want to focus on is 12 volts at 3000 amps. Now the, this hard drive um, runs at 12 volts at, uh, <clears throat> 12 volts at 0.52 amps. So this is 3000 milliamps. So it should for sure be good for running at least six of these hard drives. So you'll be good. Uh, actually five, because this also takes some power. Um, here we have the on and off switch. And here we have the power for the IDE. This is an IDE hard drive. This is a SATA hard drive. This connector is SATA, obviously. And this connector is a large IDE. And the one in the back right here is mini IDE. So let's turn it on and test it out. And as soon as you turn it on, you hear them both powering up. And it will say that it's reading with this light over here, reading the hard drives. This is the SATA connection, the second light, the blue light tells you that it's connected to SATA, which is this. And this is the IDE connector, which is this. Now I'm going to connect them to my computer using a 3.0 connection. And as you can hear, it's really booting up over there. Um, once it's connected, I can see both drives on my computer and I'll show you that right now. Alright, those are the drives on my computer. As you can see right here. We have, this is my disk drive, this is a SSD that's in, on my computer, but this is the first drive and this is the second drive. Uh, obviously this is the IDE drive, it's only 40 gigabytes, and this one is my SATA drive, which is 232 gigabytes. And the transfer speeds are actually quite quite quick um, with, with the SATA drive. I'm getting 3.0 transfer speeds, and I'll show you that test in just a sec. So let's try a 336 transfer, copying transfer, to the IDE 37 gig hard drive. And the speed of transferring at is 36 megabytes a second, which is pretty quick uh, for an IDE hard drive and pretty normal, I guess. And then let's try um, the other hard drive. And we can go to local disk E for this one. Okay, and we'll delete these tests. And we'll run the Ubuntu, which is actually 1.62 gigabytes, and see how fast that transfers that. And you can see here it's transferring really quick at 106 at a 3.0 speeds. Now this is really quick for a regular SATA hard drive. Obviously if you're using SD, SSD or NVMe SSD, it'll be much quicker. But as far as 3.0, this is incredible. So I really do recommend this device. If you are in any type of computer repair, technician recovery, anything like that, or just for yourself to get your old uh, hard drives connected, this is really good. I'm a very big fan of this device. Um, whenever you want to connect the ID, you got to connect to here. And the other side, I believe, does not need extra power for the 2.5 inch hard drive as SSD. Obviously, this also connects to, I'm sorry, this also connects to 2.5 inch. It does get a little warm while being used for a long time, but it's still perfectly usable. And this is the I.O. And this connects to 2.5 SSDs and HDDs 2.5s as well. Um, however, you cannot connect two SSDs, uh, two SATA drives at the same time. That's for a different device that I'll do a review on later. I did a longer form review of this device. If you want to check that out, uh, you can check my videos and find that one. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you.